All right, now in this session, what we're going to do is to uh, show people what the students will see when they're at uh, home and they go to log in uh, using the, um, the Z scaler or the Z pack proxy. That's the one where the, the uh, pack file that allows the uh, filtering to occur from home. So, what I've got here is just a web browser open, um, and it, when I'm on a normal, like a site that's got an exception, like a CEO site, no big deal. But when I go to a site that needs to be authenticated, say this one, okay, so that's just an, that's just an external site, hit enter. So what it will do, it will go off to Zscaler and it will go, so you can see here this is gateway Zscaler 1. Now this is the default Zscaler login that everyone in the world sees. Now we wouldn't have seen this when you're coming from inside because uh, when you when it comes from inside it knows your source IP address and can throw you to the right instance. When you're coming in from the outside it doesn't know which school you're at. So you've got to tell it um, and we're going to tell it by using the um, that login name. Now the first bit of the login name at this point doesn't matter so we're just going to use it, uh, we're going to say for our guys the first bit will be I am, so I am and then we go at and we can actually just pick a domain that we want it to be at. So I can go uh, HSC Dow Catholic .edu .au. and the important bit is that that second part of that URL because that actually tells it the uh, Zscaler which instance to go to. So when we submit that, it'll go off and it'll take us back to the CE Net login page, which you guys would have seen. Okay, and this is where the students get to enter their user IDs in. So it's going to be their um, their NT account. Okay, I mean the Wollongong Diocese. Obviously, you're in one of the other dioceses, you could pick another account. Okay, use my password. And there we go. It then it says I've authenticated and I'm off. And now I can go to any other sort of um, any other site because I've all authenticated and we've set our sites up so they're authenticated on a once per session basis. So there you go. I'm off. But I'm all logged. Everything's being tracked. And if you had a look at the logs, you'll actually see my username and password being used there. All right. So that's how it works from home. So it's a little bit different to what we've had in the past. Anyway, I hope that helps.